Hello and welcome to Real and Replica Steel. In this video today I'll be explaining the terms single action, double action, double action single action, double action only and safe action. Before I go on I just want to make the point that all the guns you see today have been safety checked by me prior to the demonstration. Now in front of us today we have three semi-automatic pistols. This is a Remington 1911 which is single action. This is a Beretta 92FS which is double action, single action. And this is a Glock 17 which uses the Glock safe action. Now I'll explain what each of these means individually. Now with a single action pistol pulling the trigger performs one function and one function only and that is to disconnect the sear from the cocked hammer. Pulling the trigger does not cock the hammer like a double action which I'll demonstrate in a moment. All it does is release the sear and drop the hammer. One of the advantages of the single action uh, pistol is that the trigger pulls are generally fairly light ranging between two and a half and five pounds. Each trigger pull is consistent so that um, it's good uh, for people who are aiming for accuracy like competition shooters. Now with a double action pistol, pulling the trigger performs two actions. The first part of the action is to cock the hammer and the second part of the action is to disconnect the sear and drop the hammer. In a double action only pistol you need to repeat the whole process each time. So you pull the trigger and you're pulling against the hammer spring which is fairly firm. Now a lot of people consider the firm trigger pull to be uh, a safety feature because accidental discharge is far less likely. The trigger pull on this particular gun is well over 12 pounds. Now this particular pistol is a double action single action which means after the first trigger pull the gun fires, it cycles and for subsequent shots the hammer is held back and subsequent shots are therefore single action. So the advantage of this configuration is that a nice firm trigger pull for the first shot, people consider that safe, and for subsequent shots a much lighter trigger pull, somewhere around half the weight at around five pounds, uh, which, is, uh, which is good for improved accuracy. Of course there are people who consider that the, the differences between the two uh, trigger pulls create an inconsistent feel for the gun and making it harder to master and shoot accurately. But um, you know, it's down to practice and I'll have to leave that one up to you. One of the other features of the double action only pistols is that they tend to be small pocket pistols and they generally have a spurless hammer which makes them less likely to get caught on your clothing. So the double action only pistols tend to come in the smaller uh, concealed type guns. The Glock safe action is a third type. Uh, the Glocks don't actually have a hammer per se, they have a striker mechanism. When the Glock is racked, the, uh, the firing pin spring is pre-tensioned or partially cocked. When you pull the trigger, it finishes that cocking process and then releases the firing pin. So some would consider this to be double action, but the correct term of course is uh, safe action. One of the advantages of this type of mechanism is that each pull of the trigger is fairly consistent and the trigger weight comes in somewhere around five pounds as a general rule. Now I have a trigger gauge here and I'll just demonstrate. Now with this particular pistol, the double action pull is well over 12 pounds, which is the limit of this gauge. So I won't demonstrate that, I'll just demonstrate the component, the single action component, which should come in somewhere around five pounds. There we go, just over five pounds. Now with the Glock, of course, we have to rack it first. And we should find that similarly, this comes in at about five pounds. Now we have to make sure we engage the trigger safety, which I believe I did, yes, and that also comes in at just over five pounds. So I hope you've enjoyed my video on pistol action types. I'll be producing another video where I talk about the best way of carrying each of these types of pistols, and I'll be linking to that from the end of this video when it's done. If you've got any comments or questions about today's video, please leave them in the comments section below. And if you've enjoyed the video, please consider subscribing. Thanks for watching.